Hey, it's going to YouTube, so you know it's best here. Here about to give you a very quick demo of iMovie 11, brand new iMovie 11. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, not waste any time here. And at first glance, everything looks the same as far as the layout. Nothing really stands out there. Let's go ahead and dive a little deeper here. We're going to go to File, New Project. And the first thing I'm going to show you is called Movie Trailers. And this is to make very professional um, looking movie trailers. You have about 15 to choose from. And this is actually probably one of the coolest features of the brand new iMovie 11. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, you see here, you can just select on them and get a little preview about what they actually entail. But I'm going to select the sports theme. I can name it uh, the project, no matter what I want to name it. I don't know why I named it that, but I can name it that there and hit create. It'll bring up this little menu here that allows you to even edit the credits. You can see right there, I have some people help me out with this. Pretty funny. Um, and also the studio, you can change the studio name, yada, 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 get a little customization into it. Uh, but the storyboard is where you're going to actually add your shots and it helps you out here. So since this is a sports theme, it wants me to add action shots. So I'm going to go to my kickball uh, little event library here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I select this one right here, this action shot that I need to add a clip to. And basically with my mouse, I just simply select which one I want to go to. So if I want to drag the mouse right here, release. And it'll keep going until I fill all the action clips up. And um, I'm just doing this really rushing it just for the sake of the video. You can take your time with this, of course. And uh, so just simply going just like this. It's very simple. It's just a flick of your wrist and you're just about done. And got a couple more. All right. And so I got all those clips in my storyboard. Now you can actually watch the trailer. Soldier film. And even though you can tell I just rushed it, you can actually tell it still looks very professional. Uh, for some odd reason, it still looks professional. I don't know how I just rushed everything to do it, but it's that easy and that simple to do that. And so that, those are the movie trailers. You can definitely play around with a lot of different ones, and I'll have some clips of some more uh, movie trailers I'll upload to YouTube for you guys. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the audio enhancements that you can actually do to uh, an iMovie. And so you can actually um, edit the audio a lot easier. Come down here, hit this audio button right here, and it'll go ahead and pop out the audio for you. Now, if you zoom in here, um, you can just um, click on one and drag the mouse to a section that you actually want to edit. And it has this little black bar right here. So if you have a section of the video clip where the audio is too high, you can actually drag this uh, black bar down a little bit lower and it'll actually be lower. So now it's high and it'll drop the volume down as soon as it gets done with this section, it'll pop it right back up. Or if you have a section that's too low, again, you can go all the way up too high. And it'll actually let you know when it was possibly, um, probably too loud for you and give you a little warning there. But that's how easy very easy it is to edit the uh, the audio there and um, so that's a real quick audio effects and you can add fade ins you can add all that stuff very easily using this and again it's very simple very fast to do um, the next thing I'm going to show you is called faces so faces you probably know from iPhoto it, it, it finds uh, individual faces of people and groups them together you know groups into one album but that, that feature is kind of here in iMovie now iMovie 11 so what you got to do is um, just want to select the entire clip and then you're going to need to analyze the video and I already did it so it's not going to give me it's not going to be highlighted but you can analyze it for people it'll take a minute to do that and now you can come down here hit this little button right here for the filter button and now I can say hey I just want to have the clips where it has two people boom that's a clip where it has two people even though there's a lot more people in the background looks like just talking about those two people right in front or I want to have a, 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 picture, a, a video where all the clips where the video is wide shot of people and here it is very wide shots of people here first one this was the first one right here and so this is very cool especially if you have video up close and personal video stuff like that uh, you can really work it out by that uh, next thing I'm gonna show you is called one step effects and basically if you want to take a uh, section of this video here I'm gonna take this section right here I can go up here to clip and I say I want to add an instant replay to it it's really good for sports and I'm added by 50% and boom that easy now I'm gonna play this right here regular portion will go ahead and play through and then they'll do an instant replay of that so it slows it down a little bit and it does an instant replay of this action this is actually the brand new Apple store opening in the gallery of mall here in St. Louis biggest mall Apple store ever and I have put a video on my soldier close about that um, but that's instant replay for you guys and next you can do a fast forward if you want to do a very quick fast forward clip you hear the audio really speeds up there. Oh, real quick, let me show you the cool new audio effects you can easily add onto a video here. So go ahead and select a clip, hit the drop down box, and go to clip adjustments. 
And uh, you do have video effects, but they're pretty much the same thing as from the uh, previous versions of iMovie. But we can go down to audio effects here and it'll automatically start playing. Uh, the brand new just released, really just released, uh, I like 2011 for the Mac. You're probably wondering why I got a box of this uh, set here. Um, uh, basically, I'm just going to be letting you know in this video, I'm going to be covering all the new. Full, uh, of the new features, the best that I can. I like the voice and of course, you know, I'm always. <laughs> yeah, so you just, just have a different ones you can add to just certain parts of your clip. Very easy, very simple. And, uh, and these are just the uh, new audio effects here in uh, iMovie 11. Once you get a clip done, um, sharing it. Now, you have a couple more options to actually share this right away from iMovie. Uh, Mobile Me Gallery, of course, YouTube, Facebook now. Uh, I think Facebook may have been the old one. I don't know. But Facebook, uh, Vimeo, I think, I think that's how you say it. And also CNN iReport now. You can uh, directly upload the CNN iReport, which is pretty cool. And Podcast Producer, where you can upload the Podcast Producer to make a podcast uh, to put into iTunes. So this is a real quick um, look at the brand new iMovie 11. And uh, just a real quick look at it. I'm liking it. It's pretty fast. It's a little streamlined now. And I like these new special effects. Let me know what your favorite thing is in iMovie movie if you played around with it leave a comment down below and thanks for watching this video guys and i will catch you later peace